Call the meeting to order, uh, June 14th, 2022, Burners Township Committee. Our first order of business is the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Adequate notice of this meeting was posted on the bulletin board in the municipal building, One Collier Lane, Basking Ridge, on the township website, and emailed to the Burnsville News, Whippany, the Courier News, Bridgewater, tapinto.net, patch.com, and filed with the township clerk on December 13th, 2021. Any motion to go into closed session will include that the matters discussed at such closed session will be disclosed to the public when such matters are finally determined, and there is no further reason to prohibit the public from disclosure of information relating to such matters. No new business will be introduced after 10.30 p.m. Public comment will be accepted at all meetings. Speakers will be limited to five minutes each. All meetings will adjourn no later than 11.30 p.m. Roll call, please, Rhonda. Uh, Ms. AC is excused this evening. Ms. Fields? Here. Ms. Grahala? Here. Mr. McNally? Here. Mayor Baldessari? Here. Thank you. Mayor, I'd like to amend the agenda to add resolution 2022-0281 award of bid for Department of Public Works road repairs to render roads as letter H under new business. All right, uh, do I have a second? I'll second it. All right, uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right, let the uh, agenda be amended accordingly, please. Uh, which brings us next to uh, executive session. We do not have any tonight, nor do we have any public work session tonight. Uh, reports, Rhonda? Nothing this evening, Mayor. Right, which brings us to our presentation. Uh, resolution 2022-0271, recognizing the Ridge Boys Hockey Team, 2022 New, Jer New Jersey Ice Hockey Public A State Champions. Whereas the Ridge Boys Hockey Team competed at the 2022 New Jersey Ho Ice Hockey Public A State Championship, winning the champion title. Whereas the Ridge High School Boys Hockey Team consists of the following students and their coaches. Nicholas Nagazio, James McNally, Eric Helgeson, Nicholas DeCandio, Adrian Eb Eb Ebling, excuse me, I'm sorry, Ebling, Colin Ward, Henry Craig, Zachary Alvin, Aaron Allen, Tristan Allen, Marcos De Silva, Reese Judson, Alex White, Stephen Wyatt, Jamie Zimmerman, Igor Barabanov, Bastian C, John Eager, Tyler Eglis, hope I pronounced that right, Connor Grace, Alex Helgeson, Dennis Kuzmankal, Ryan Sacramoni, Max Sigmund, Nick Alvin, Peter DeCandia, Spencer Jang, Ben McCain, Ted Skidus, sorry if I mispronounced that, Jack Standing, Ali Bannock, Ryan Ward, and the coaches Tim Mullen, John Gerke, and, John, and Joe Narcisse. Uh, whereas the team has exhibited tremendous teamwork, flexibility, and ingenuity under the coach's leadership to get to the New Jersey Ice Hockey Public A State Championships, and whereas the Ridge Boys Hockey Team has won their third state title in six years, now therefore be it resolved by the Township Committee of the Township of Burners that we do hereby recognize and congratulate the Ridge Boys Hockey Team and their coaches on their impressive accomplishments and their extraordinary commitment to teamwork, perseverance, and sportsmanship. So congratulations. We have to make a motion. Sorry. I'm sorry, I have to make a motion. Do I have a motion on the resolution? So moved. All right, do I have a second? Second. Uh, any, any comments before? I would like to congratulate you, I'm a huge um, I'm a huge ice hockey fan, watched the whole Ranger series. We almost got there. <laughs> and I just want to say it's a great sport, and I really enjoy it. And I have fond memories listening to it on the radio when I was young with my dad, the Ranger games. You're too young to know that um, it really wasn't on TV back then. <laughs> so we only got it on the radio. So congratulations and uh, much success. 
Gentlemen, congratulations. Job well done, and it only takes hard work to get where you got. So, way to kick it. <laughs> yes, congratulations to the team, the coaches. Uh, I, I came to learn of their tremendous uh, accomplishment because I was um, uh, uh, in town and I saw the sign saying that you guys were state champions. <coughs> I said, you know, you've got to be shouting that from the rooftops because mm -hmm. it's a tremendous accomplishment. So congratulations to you all and your coaches. Great achievement. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Well done. Uh, extremely proud of you guys. It's just the beginning. You know, you guys are young. Uh, build on it. You know, uh, just know in the back of your minds, and I'm going to tell you what I tell everybody when, uh, when they come in here with a great accomplishment. Uh, the sky's the limit. You can do anything if you put your mind to it and you work hard. So congratulations. Uh, why don't you guys come on up and uh, let's take a picture. For all 30? No. <laughs> That's for you guys. All right? And you guys can Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, which brings us to correspondence. Uh, none this evening, Mayor. All right. Right into public comment. Uh, comments are welcome during the public comment period during this meeting on any agenda item or other matter over which this township committee has jurisdiction. However, if an ordinance is listed for its own public hearing on the agenda, please hold your comments for that particular public hearing. The public comment portion of the agenda is not structured as a question and answer session, but offers an opportunity to share your thoughts with the township committee. The township committee may or may not address these comments during the meeting. However, all comments are considered and are welcome. To address this body, the speaker must come forward to the microphone and state his or her name and address for the record. Each speaker is limited to five minutes. The clerk will keep time. Please promptly yield the floor when the time is called upon and return to your seat. Your cooperation and adherence to these rules of order will ensure an orderly and respectful meeting. Uh, public comment is now open. Good evening, Ms. Dondre. Nancy Dondrea, 3 Vanderveer Drive, Basking Ridge. Um, hello. Um, the following one I'm going to read is uh, something that I uh, admitted also to the county, and they did it for public comment today at today's meeting, so I'm going to say it to you. Um, Sherry, just so you know, yours was confirmed also today. Okay. So um, on June 9th, a presentation was given concerning a roundabout at the intersection of Allen Road and Somerville Road. I disagree with this proposed project. Allen Road is the problem, not that intersection. <clears throat> if anything, maybe that intersection needs a stoplight or something to make people really stop at the intersection. Perhaps some rumble strips. A roundabout is just going to make people who are already speeding go quickly through a roundabout. And that brings me to Allen Road itself. During the meeting, the presenters were unaware of the injuries and even deaths that have occurred. Just this past spring, an elderly man was hit and was seriously injured on April 13th. In 2016, a man was fatally struck by a vehicle. Neither of these were even close to Somerville Road. They were on the parts of Allen Road that were closer to the top of the hill and surrounded by developments. Speeding is the number one issue on Allen Road. At the top of the hill, there are flashing lights for pedestrians to cross safely. Even with them, it is dangerous because the road is so wide that sometimes the people on the other side of the road aren't seen well. 
Back in 2015, someone tried getting a stoplight at the top of the hill after he was hit by a car and was seriously injured. Um, that was nixed by the then TC. Uh, my ask is this, do something about speeding on Allen Road. More police presence in that area, rumble strips in various spots. That road is a 35 mile per hour road and very few people go that speed. There is a speed sign on both ends, meaning like the one that flashes and tells you what, how fast you are, on both ends of uh, Allen. But honestly, there should be one also like approaching the top too, because you know you pass the speed sign kind of going slow. Oh, you go, oh, I'm going 40. So you go down to 35 and then you all of a sudden have to increase your speed. Um, you know, I think the speed sign should also be on the downhill side of it and not on the uphill side of it. But that's just, I digress. Um, Honestly, okay, and, um, and since it is a county road and wide, many people tend to drive 45 miles per hour, if not, or faster. More signs, rumble strips, a speed table, I'm not sure what the solution is, but a roundabout at that intersection is 100% not needed. I foresee faster traffic and harder for pedestrians to cross in that area because now they're crossing just four way. This time it'd be like over here and then a diagonal and then a diagonal. And it, so I think it's actually harder for pe pedestrians. Um, I personally would like a traffic light. That's me. Okay. I've lived in the hills for 25 years. I've gone through that uh, intersection often. Um, <clears throat> and, and that's, that was the letter. Um, so I did a little digging. Uh, so this came about in 2018, 2019, this idea, this is not a new idea, but we had a pandemic in the middle and everything just went. So um, the um, money came from the federal and the county presented the idea to the township committee of then, 2018, 2019. Then the TC was kind of open to it. Um, other than, well, I think except for Jim, none of you have probably even seen anything like that. So um, I'm telling you, please do not let this get approved, please. And then go tell the county, go take that money and put it someplace else or build another roundabout someplace else. Just we don't like it there. And I'm talking about we, I'm talking about, you know, the people I've talked to in the hills, um, but I'm not the only one that feels this way. Uh, and that's my input uh, about the roundabout. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Yeah. I'll just come up and state your name and uh, address for the record, please, sir. Uh, it's Paul Zubalake, 82 Church Street, uh, Liberty Corner. Um, I'm not going to talk about round. I mean, the whole issue, obviously, with the roundabout. They're actually, if you could blink and it could be there, it's actually probably a good solution problem is obviously what happens when they're constructed right and and what's going to happen where is the traffic going so my big issue is with the county itself the county has another road in Liberty Corner Church Street <coughs> about I guess was it six seven eight years ago they put the four-way in at Somerville and Church the one thing that they they never did they never adjusted the speed limits. So you have a 45, I believe, coming from Far Hills into a four-way, and then on the Church Street side, it's a 40 going into a four-way stop. You could not find another road with a 40 and a 45 going into a four-way, right? It doesn't make any sense. You don't want people going at a high speed into a four-way. So what happened? They put a stop sign in there, and they weren't smart enough to realize, like, why aren't we adjusting the speed limits? Because that, those speed limits were based on a two-way, because there was a free flow of traffic, right? That's why. You put a four-way in, what's the logical thing to do? You have to lower the limits, something I've been you know, talking about for a long time. That shows the county <laughs> does not know what they're doing, right? You could just approach them and ask them that. You're concerned about safety. Let's lower the speed limits on Church Street and whatever the other, I guess, Silvery Corner Road, right? Because it's just basic design. It's not even, it's, like I said, go anywhere. You cannot find those speed limits going into a four-way stop sign, anywhere. Basking Ridge Township has 25s everywhere. Of course, us in Liberty Corner, we've got the 35, 
which is obviously way too fast. And nobody obviously it goes 35. If everybody went 35, it would actually be too, it wouldn't be bad. So let's get it down to 25 on church. Let's get it down to 30 into the four way. The mosque has yet to open, right? So when that starts, more traffic. If this four way at Allen Road is closed, where are the people from the hills gonna get to 78? Ask the county that. You know why they, they don't know the answer because they don't know what the heck they're doing. What are they going to do? They're going to go to Douglas. That's what the GPS is going to say. So you're going to have everybody in the hills who wants to get to 78 and don't bring up going to 287 because nobody's going to go on 287 to go 78 east. Not going to happen. All the GPSs, what are they going to do? They're going to go to Douglas and they're going to make a right-hand turn on church and that's going to be more traffic. So Again, I'm not going to get into taxpayer waste. I mean, there's, I mean, the federal government's beyond a joke, right? So they're wasting money all the time. They don't even know what to do with it. And I understand there probably are some benefits, right? Again, five years of disruption, is that accurate? Five years it's going to take them to do this? Five years for minimal gain, minimal at best. So hopefully you guys just question them on that. I promise you, if you question them on that four-way, and get them to explain why they have a 45 and a 40 going into a four-way. I'd love to hear the explanation. I doubt it. I don't think they have the expertise, so who knows? I appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Mrs. Nelson. Hello. Sherry Nelson, 195 Smoke Rise Road. Um, I had some other things, but I did want to uh, piggyback a little. I think Paul got some of his information from me. Uh, the meeting at the beginning, they said five years to completion for this project the county did. I think they mean from right now. That's the clock starting now. So that they had put construction starting around 2025. So I think we're talking two years of nightmare instead of five. But they weren't exact. I mean, nobody ever gives an exact timeline on these things. They're just giving us estimates, and we don't like any of it. Um, and then I also wanted to point out that the question about speed limits, we actually have the same problem at the four-way stop in question for this project. There's one approach. If you're coming, is it Liberty Corner? No, Martinsville. These roads change names too many times. The traffic light at the end of Allen Road, you're coming towards the hills. That's 40 miles an hour coming into that four-way stop. All the other approaches are 35. And I think that's part of the reason they think well, there's a safety problem there they're saying people are just speeding coming into that intersection. So now I'll start at the beginning of what I had planned on saying. Um, I have concerns about the county's plan, plan to build a roundabout at the intersection. Um, I attended the public meeting that was hosted by the county on June 9th where they presented this plan. I find it very troubling that the county has spent four years developing this plan, but there were no public meetings until now. I think the residents and taxpayers deserve more consideration than that. The county has the final say about this project because it's a county road, but it does intersect with the municipal road. And it is township land on all four corners that will be destroyed and to make room for this. Um, so I do think you guys should have some say. Um, so I would like to, to ask for your help in stopping this project from moving forward. I have lived in the hills um, and have spent the past 15 years driving through that intersection multiple times a day. I've looked through these slides so many times. I, I don't see the congestion problem they're talking about. And I would say people are trying to get to 78, but they're also trying to get their kids over to William Annan. And I, I did that for six years between two kids. That's the only time I ever saw a wait there. And I was never there for more than a minute. So I, I'm not really sure what problem we're fixing. Um, in my opinion, the county did not present a compelling reason for making any changes to the intersection. They cited data from a four-year period between 2015 and 2019 that showed 14 accidents at that intersection. But when we pressed them during public comment, they said that these accidents were mostly fender benders and that there had none of the accidents, not even one, involved any serious injuries. I have many questions and concerns about this project. I would like to know what's the impact on the open space at that intersection. We've got land right there and, and we didn't much about the area. They don't live here. so. Why would they? Um, I am concerned that it's wasteful government spending. I know the federal government's out of control, but why should we participate in the madness? I, I, don't, I don't think we do that here in Berners Township. We are con fiscal conservatives. Um, I personally, this is selfish, I don't want to live through two years of construction. I don't know how I'm going to get 
where I need to go. I don't want to go down to 287 for everything. I need to get into town. I can't do that easily. I could go around Douglas Road. I don't, I don't want to go that way. It's harder. <laughs> um, I haven't been given a clear answer on what happens to the fire department. Did anybody say, well, it, it's in the slides. They're going to keep that two-way access on Allen, but they will block from Somerville. That's my fire department. What happens if I have a fire in my house? Sure, there's a contingency plan, but the fire department's going to get to my house not as quickly. That's, I'm not okay with that for my family. Um, so I have a lot of concerns, but actually my greatest concern, and it's a little complicated, so bear with me, it's this idea of adding additional crosswalks to the intersection. Right now, you only have one crosswalk, and it is strategically placed. It's as you're going across the intersection into the hill. So it's where everyone theoretically has at least stopped, and they're just starting to move forward if they actually successfully stopped. So it's the safest place for someone to try to cross there. This plan includes four crosswalks. The stated goal of the project is to get vehicles through this interse intersection more efficiently. They said more quickly and at higher speeds than they currently are. We already have a bad problem with cars speeding and pedestrians being hit in crosswalks. The county officials attempted to justify the need for this project by saying that there is a safety issue at this intersection because the speed in which drivers are approaching the intersection is too high. Therefore, drivers are unable to come to a complete stop, so they end up rear-ending other cars. The county officials stated, when we asked this question, specifically, that this plan does not include any plan uh, I'll hurry, to reduce the speed limit in this area. There's n that's not any part of this plan. So now we're going to put human beings in crosswalks in front of the intersection from every possible angle. But the whole reason they want to build this roundabout is so vehicles will not have to come to a complete stop. This just isn't logical. So what happens to a person in the crosswalk if it's a foregone conclusion that vehicles can't reliably come to a stop at that intersection? We could save a whole lot of time and money by just reducing the speed limit in this area, and that would actually address the safety issues. We do have a very real safety problem in the hills on Allen Road, but it's not that intersection. There have been multiple accidents where pedestrians have been hit with serious injuries and even one death. I would like for the county to solve that problem before even thinking about wasting time and taxpayer dollars on this roundabout project. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mike Nelson, 195 Smoke Rise. Um, I've never been to a township meeting, uh, never spoke at one. I kind of just stayed in the background behind my, uh, behind my wife, who I know is very <laughs> vocal. Uh, but lived in the hills for 13 years, uh, traveled that road a lot. Uh, hills is a great place to live, we love it there. Um, we, we were you know, drawn to the area with all of the amenities and the walking paths and the biking paths and you go out on any given night, evening, just like we just came. There's tons of people up and down Allen Road walking, you know, to the little shops. It's great. The, the one and only, I mean, the biggest complaint is the speeding on Allen Road. Speeding is on Allen Road is a huge problem. We live, our, you know, backyard backs up to Allen Road, so we see it firsthand. We see the accidents. We, we were, you know, practically in, in sight of the uh, pedestrian that got hit just a few weeks or months ago, whenever that was. There was someone got hit and died, you know, a few years back animals, pets getting killed, all sorts of things. So speeding on Allen Road is a huge issue. Um, so when I heard there was a county meeting to address traffic issue or, you know, something about Allen Road, I was excited. I'm like, made it a point to let's go to this because I want to hear what they have to say. First slide gets put up and I see roundabout and the benefits of a roundabout. I'm thinking, oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. You're going to you know, I, I don't want to roundabout it at this intersection, but okay, I'll have an open mind about it. And, uh, you know, see what they have to say. Um, but as others have stated, uh, I see this as, um, well, back up a few. So when, when after the person got hit and, and someone acknowledged there was a speeding issue on Allen Road, they put in, I think I counted today with my son, it's 11 crosswalks up and down Allen Road. So it's, it's really too many crosswalks. Um, but unfortunately, that really doesn't stop these drivers um, who've got places to be, apparently. Um, there's many you know, instances we've encountered where we would yield to a pedestrian and someone would go around us or you know, nearly hit us. Other people on the call were, were describing you know, similar situations. Um, so I really see this you know, kind of like what Paul was saying, that 
The roundabout, if you look laser focused and only focus on that intersection, it might be a good idea. I, I don't want to live through the construction. I don't want to see the hills sign torn up, the statue, you know, the uh, uh, Sons of Liberty sign gone, all the open space issues. I certainly don't want to live through the, the, the uh, construction, but maybe, maybe, just maybe the, the, the roundabout might not be an issue, but I actually think that it has a serious potential to worsen the problem on Allen Road because it's gonna make it, I mean, to, to, the, to the county folks' uh, presentation, they said it would be more efficient, you know, to, they'd move more traffic through there. I don't want more traffic through that. I don't want people being able to get through there even more efficiently and at higher speeds because um, I think it's only going to you know, add to the potential for accidents. You're going to have even more crosswalks, even more potential for the people to uh, get hit. So I'm asking for help. Uh, like I said, I haven't ever come to a township meeting, but I decided you know, I really, really, really feel strongly about this. I really want to find, we, we, we tried to bring it up on the call. Um, you know, how, do we, how, would, how would one go about addressing the speed problem on Allen Road? Because it's a county road. And of course, all they could say is, you know, that's out of scope for this. We, we only want to focus on the grant money can only be spent on a roundabout. We've got the grant money and we looked for candidates of places to where we could spend it. Um, you know, was it that in a nutshell. So I don't know if it's, uh, you know, like the other uh, lady spoke about, lowering the speed limit I think would be a start. Speed bumps, if that's possible, speed tables, rumble strips, anything. They could put roundabouts up and down Allen Road and that would actually slow people down from what they do. But putting a roundabout at the four-way stop where they have to come to a stop and making it easier for them to not have to slow down going in and out of, of the hills on Allen Road just seems like a huge, huge mistake. So whatever we can do, whatever you guys can do to help us put a stop to this madness would be great. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Public comment? No? All right, seeing no one, I'm going to uh, close public comment, which brings us to our Township Committee Board Liaison Reports and Staff Comments. Uh, Mr. Monaco. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I just wanted to, uh, uh, earlier this evening, we had our police department here with promotion, so I just want to congratulate all of our uh, promotees. And, um, you know, I have all the confidence in the world that they'll continue the fine work that's been done for many years. Uh, so congratulations to them. Other personnel, uh, I want to congratulate uh, Kay Ferrati, uh, promotion to deputy tax collector, and uh, welcome to uh, Carolyn Moschello at the library. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Ms. Pisano. Uh, yes, Mayor. Um, first and foremost, um, I'm happy, I'd like to talk about the elections. So first and foremost, I'm happy to report that our outreach to recruit additional poll workers was somewhat successful. And we hope to continue to increase our pool of workers throughout the months ahead so that we're comfortably staffed in November. Um, I'd also like to thank our polling locations, um, the community center, the library, the Basking Ridge Firehouse, the Liberty Corner Firehouse, Hills Recreation Center, Ridge Oak, Fellowship Village, Somerset Hills Lutheran Church, and Millington Baptist Church. I realize it's a bit of an inconvenience, but it's a great service to the residents in our community. And I also would like to congratulate Christine Andrus, our deputy municipal clerk, on her marriage on June 4th. And we thank her for delaying her honeymoon <laughs> until after the primary was over. <laughs> so we're fortunate to have such a dedicated employee. And I'd like to also give a shout out to Ran Annie Rivera and Joe DeSanto from Finance, who also helped out, and Public Works for getting all the signs put up. So that's it. Thank, Thank you. So you. Uh, Ms. Brawler. No reports tonight, Mayor. Thank you. All right. Mrs. Fields. OK. I'll start with my liaisons. Uh, the Liberty Corner, uh, Liberty Corner Fire Company is going to be hosting a food truck festival. It's going to be huge. It's so exciting. It's going to be on Saturday, June 25th, 11 to 7, at the Liberty Corner Firehouse. Um, it's uh, $5 admission, 17 food trucks. They're going to have a petting zoo. They're going to have beer, sangria, and margarita garden, petting zoo, face painting, 
and a live band and so much more. So please come out and support the Liberty Corner uh, Fire Company Saturday, June 25th, 11 to 7 for their food truck festival. The library board, we're still in search of a new director. So if you know anyone, please send them to the library's way. Appreciate it. Dear Commission, we haven't had any meetings. Things are moving smoothly over there. Um, let's see. Um, I would like to congratulate the uh, senior class of 2022 at Ridge High and uh, welcome to them and um, at, at wish them all the success in the world as they graduate. And to all our students here in Ridge, um, in Basking Ridge, I want to say have a wonderful summer, enjoy, be free, because someday you'll have to have a job and responsibility, and all you get is two weeks off a year, and that's it. <laughs> a lot of what Pat said, I want to just piggyback off of. I would like to congratulate our new uh, deputy tax collector, Kate, with this Catherine Ferrati. Um, she worked really hard to get there. She's been with us for a long time in town, and went through the process of schooling and certificates, and so she, she really earned that, and I want to congratulate her. And also, again, with our officers' promotions, we have a fine department of officers here, and we're so lucky that we had so many to choose for, from, and it was so hard to promote um, this year. And um, I also want to recognize a uh, citizen resident, uh, uh, Dariet Smith, for stepping up and joining our library board this year. We're, gonna, uh, this, um, we're going to be appointing him there was a vacancy on the library board, and he actually came to us and said that he would like to serve on the library board. So I would like to thank him because there was, like I said, a vac vacancy. And I, uh, I want to thank Rhonda and her team for all your hard work, Annie and Joe for helping you. Um, most people here go and they vote and they think it's so easy, but Rhonda <laughs> and her team, and especially Rhonda, has to coordinate the polling locations, and if somebody chooses that they don't want to participate, she has to go find somebody else. Just make sure it runs smoothly, all the votes are tallied and sent in, and it's on and on. So I want to thank you, Rhonda, because it's an, a lot of work, a lot of work. Thank okay. you. So really appreciate it. Thank and, Mayor, I think that's it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Mr. Timko, anything? Uh, no comments. All right. Mr. Ballardo. Nothing tonight, Mayor. Very good. Uh, Mr. McNally. Uh, a few things, Mayor. Um, first, I'd like to congratulate uh, all <coughs> of the folks who were promoted at our police department. Uh, 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 we have new Corporal Zio and Neri, new Sergeants Matthews, Baxter, and Fallon, new Lieutenant Ammerman, and new Captain Berger. These are extraordinary officers, as are all of the members of our police department, which helped to contribute to make Basking, uh, Berners Township the fifth safest town in America, which is an extraordinary achievement. Um, and that's something that we're going to be talking about here on June 29th at 7 p.m. right here in this room as part of the Understanding Bernard series. Uh, members of our department will be here talking about current issues uh, in Bernard's Township, tips on keeping yourself safe, uh, protected from uh, crime and fraud and things of that nature. We do live in a, a great town, a safe town, but it's not exactly Mayberry, and there are things that do happen from car theft, thefts to uh, uh, different types of fraud that people fall victim to. Um, and our police department will be here to help educate the public on the various issues that they need to know. So um, we certainly look forward to that. Um, I'd like to th also congratulate Rhonda on you know doing everything that she needs to do in order to pull off the successful elections <laughs> here in town. Uh, I didn't know you were so tough that you made Christine delay her uh, <laughs> that, that, uh, she her, her honeymoon. But, oh well, she and congratulations to her as well on, yeah. her, on her recent marriage. Um, I was reminded, uh, uh, Committee Woman Grahala, by your husband that today is Flag Day and he's looking very festive uh, in his shirt. So thank you for that reminder. Uh, and then finally, a word about the Allen and Somerville Road intersection. Um, this was not something that I was uh, previously familiar with, quite frankly, but it is something that I'm going to uh, look into uh, very closely. Um, you know, we, we, we serve in a representative capacity here. So if um, residents uh, are not enthused by a particular idea, 
that is very important to us, and it's something that is going to weigh on me as I look into this, as is, you know, what specifically are the issues there and whether the proposed solution is an appropriate one. So I would be getting well out over my skis if I were to speak about this more substantively than that. All I can say at this point is that it's something that I look forward to taking a very close look at. So thank you, Mayor, and that concludes my comment. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, uh, so Christine, congratulations mm -hmm. on your new marriage. I did not know that she pushed her honeymoon, but <laughs> that's a team player. Uh, and, uh, and everything, especially with the primary uh, that, that you took care of with, with the voting and, and the, uh, the poll workers. Thank you very much for that. Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, our police promotions, obviously, uh, <clears throat> Kate getting promoted in, in, the, as the, uh, the, in the tax assessor's office, fantastic. Um, the roundabout, uh, we're slowing that down. Okay, we're not, uh, you know, we're, we're going to obviously be going back to the county. We're going to ask them for some, a, a lot more information. We're going to get a lot more information in the hands of our residents. Uh, lists of pros, cons, you know, what are the alternatives? Why is this being done? Where is this money coming, like, coming from? I understand that, that the grant money that's associated with that is specifically for roundabout. So we were one of the places that were chosen about that. Obviously, we hear the pushback. You know, we're here and it does, uh, as the deputy mayor said, you know, in a representative capacity. So we are going to uh, to give a little pushback here. Obviously, uh, we want to know well in advance, <clears throat> be able to give our uh, residents all of the necessary information. We want to be able to have in-person presentations uh, from the county uh, to come in here and allow our residents to come in and ask all of the questions that they deem uh, appropriate, and make sure at the end of the day that we are doing, you know, what either needs to be done or what doesn't need to be done at that intersection with obviously the safety of our residents uh, at the forefront. Uh, with regard to the, uh, the speeding uh, concerns that I hear, I, I hear you. And uh, yes, we're gonna get on that. We're gonna discuss that I think a little bit more with the police chief uh, in terms of maybe getting some additional patrols out there, uh, get, make a little bit more visibility uh, and have some consequences. Uh, that's uh, if it's you know that that's people are going uh, way above uh, above the speed limit, and we're going to have to look at the at the respective speed limits on uh, on the various roads that that lead into that, and make whatever appropriate changes need to be made there. So it is something that we uh, we hear you, we understand what the questions and the concerns are, and we're going to get as much information as we can, and we're going to bring more information to you and allow you to be involved in the process with regard to the presentation and, and have a voice in what is said and done ultimately here. But uh, just so you know, nothing is happening right now. We are not, there's nothing immediate on the horizon. Uh, there will be information that's forthcoming and we will uh, keep it at a pace that is appropriate for everyone. So uh, we, we will be working on that. And I think uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. McNally uh, will be uh, instrumental in, in, uh, in helping um, I also want to congratulate Mr. Bellardo. Uh, today is Mr. Bellardo's 35th wedding anniversary. Oh, oh congratulations. Oh. And, uh, wow. And, uh, I don't know whatever you got your wife, but, uh, you know, it, you, she deserves more. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 want, I, want to thank, I want to thank Joan because obviously over many, many years, not only here, but in the other municipalities and wards, I've represented in my two children graduated Ridge High School. There were many anniversaries, birthdays, child's sporting events, and as all of you know, because you serve and go to meetings, um, it's always the families behind us sacrificing that support us that really uh, deserve praise. So um, again, it's been a great 35 years. I can't believe it went that fast, and thank you for that acknowledgement. <laughs> Absolutely, and uh, Joan, all my best to you. Congratulations <laughs> on uh, this guy <laughs> for 35 years. <laughs> and uh, I believe I think that's uh, that's. All. Oh no, I'm sorry. I wanted to mention one other thing. Uh, I did sign on behalf of uh, uh, myself as mayor here for Burns Township um, a, a letter uh, that I believe that the League of Municipalities is putting together with regard to our, our uh, elected officials at the state level to uh, actively pursue those energy tax credit receipts uh, that we are due, that we've been paying into. 
Uh, so uh, hopefully that continues to gain traction, that continues to gain steam at the, at the, uh, the state level and at the, both the Assembly and the Senate, and uh, we can put something together where our municipality and all municipalities can see some of that money coming back in uh, that we've been paying into over the course of the last decade. So I wanted to let everybody know that, and uh, that concludes uh, my comments. Mayor, do you mind if I say please, something? Please, please. So I didn't want to say anything about the roundabout yet because I, I feel the mayor should speak for us first and, and give you the information. So I, I just want to say exactly what the mayor said is true. Unfortunately, sometimes there's misinformation out there on what really transpired and what's going to transpire. Um, you know, all of us are very <coughs> open and we listen and we're here and it's, uh, it's not a dictatorship. And whatever we do, we're transparent and open. And like he said, we're going to listen to you. We're going to get more information and uh, slow things down, and it wouldn't have been done, and that was it. There's always public hearings. We're always here. You can always email us. I always say this to everyone. We're always accessible to everyone, and I always stress to people, even when people text me, I'll say, please email us, because this way it's official. It's on record. We'll answer it, and our answers are official, and so that's really important. That, um, that you do do that. So I just want to say, like what the mayor says, we're going to work with you, we're here, we're going to listen, we care, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Fields. All right, uh, which brings us to uh, fire and rescue appointments? Uh, none this evening. Unfinished business? Uh, none this evening. Our consent agenda. Uh, the items listed within the consent agenda portion of the meeting have been referred to the Township Committee for reading and study. A copy posted on the website and are considered routine be enacted by one motion of the Township Committee with no separate discussion. If separate discussion is required, the item may be removed from the, town, from the agenda by Township Committee action and placed on the regular agenda under new business. Uh, does anybody see anything on the consent agenda that they would like removed? All right, seeing none, I'll take a motion to move the consent agenda. So moved. So I have a second. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Ms. Fields? Yes. Ms. Grahala? Yes. Mr. McNally? Yes. Mayor Baldessari? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, and that brings us to Resolution 2022-0259. This is compliance with a NJSA 40A colon 5-4 2021 annual report of audit. And I'll take a motion on that. So moved, Mayor. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, any discussion? Uh, let's do a roll call with that one. Please. Yes, please. Ms. Fields? Yes. Ms. Grahala? Yes. Mr. McNally? Yes. Mayor Baldessari? Yes. Motion carries. And I'm going to respectfully recuse myself from the next couple. Resolution. 2022-0262. This is a personnel appointment of Mark Neary as corporal for the police department. Uh, Janice and I had the opportunity to meet Mark um, during the promotions process. A truly extraordinary uh, officer um, and uh, will make a fantastic corporal and continue to contribute very meaningfully to the safety uh, and protection of our town. Um, may I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Second. Uh, roll call, please. Uh, Ms. Fields? Yes. Ms. Grahala? Yes. Mr. McNally? Yes. Motion carries. Resolution 2022-0263. This is a personnel appointment. Michael Yo as corporal with the police department. I also had the opportunity to meet Michael recently, an extraordinary officer who will make a uh, fantastic corporal on our police department. Um, may I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Roll call round up. Ms. Fields? Yes. Ms. Grahala? Yes. Mr. McNally? Yes. Motion carries. brings us to our next uh, mayoral appointment with Township Committee consent uh, for the Library Board. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, mm -hmm. Derek Smith. Yep. Is that, is that yes, Derek, Derek Smith? Smith. Uh, 
uh, filling the five-year unexpired term with Kathleen Pedici, expiring 2023. Um, I'm good to go with that. Everybody else okay? Yes. Very good. Thank you very much for your service. Appreciate the, uh, the interest in serving and volunteering. Uh, the next is uh, the mayoral appointments for the planning board. There's uh, John Lazinski, uh, Jerry Malik, and Dan Iorio are being moved up. Uh, any, does anybody have any questions or, or concerns about that? Want to discuss? Just that? wanted to make a correction yeah. um, for Daniel Iorio. He's filling uh, the uh, unexpired term of John Crane, not Andrew McNally. So that was a miss print on my part. I wasn't unceremoniously being kicked <laughs> off the planning board. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, with, uh, thank you. Welcome, John, uh, and thank you uh, for John, Jerry, and Daniel for continuing to, uh, to serve our township on the planning board. Uh, approval of minutes from uh, May 24th. If everybody had an opportunity to uh, review the minutes, I'll take a motion. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Which brings us to resolution 20220281. This is award of bid for the Department of Public Works Road Repairs to Renda Roads, Inc. Um, P.O. Box 89, White House, New Jersey, 08888, in the amount of $500,000. I would like to amend the agenda to add resolution 2022. Oh, no, we did that. Okay, that's right. on the vote. We did it. We did it. On the vote. Oh, we that's did right. it. We did Never it. Never mind. <laughs> all right. We did it. So, uh, uh, with that, I will take a, a motion to uh, to move the resolution. So moved. All right. <laughs> have a second. Second. Any discussion? Uh, roll call, please, Ronald. Ms. Fields? Yes. Ms. Grahala? Yes. Mr. McNally? Yes. Mayor Baldessari? Yes. Motion carries. All right, great. Uh, we do not have any executive session tonight, so I will take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Do I have a second? Yes. Second. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. 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 Thank you very much, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Good night.